Our next guest just upped his price target today from $800 to 925 which means the stock can gain another 20% from where it is now, and that would put it well above $2 trillion in market value. Let's bring in Vivek Arya. He is the Senior Semiconductor Analyst at Bank of America Securities. Vivek, welcome. Is there anything, anything in the report that you saw yesterday that gives you any sort of pause here? Uh, thank you, Tyler, for having me. I think that, um, you know, when you look at um, uh, there is a supply side and the demand side, I think they are working uh, on the supply side uh, very effectively. So the supply situation is gradually uh, getting uh, better, but not so much so that it should be a cause of concern. We don't see any oversupply. I think the supply demand balance should stay pretty strong. I think the more interesting thing is on uh, the demand side, that only about 10 or 15 percent of servers today are accelerated. Um, so that means uh, they are uh, deploying an AI-like uh, workload. So over time, we think that number could be three or four times uh, that amount. That's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it to keep in mind, though, is that, um, you know, we are still in early stages of figuring out what generative AI can be, what applications can be uh, monetized. So I do assume, I do believe that uh, every time, you know, there is a new year that people will ask the same questions again. What are the applications that can be monetized? And it's not that different from the early days of the internet, right? The internet started, commercial internet started in 1991, and it wasn't just a straight up and to the right. Every year there were questions about, you know, what are the key applications that, that will drive it? But I think today NVIDIA is in uh, great shape uh, to monetize uh, what I think will be a multi-year uh, growth uh, trend for them. And to come back to what uh, is a source of uh, concern, you know, anytime the stock goes up, by these uh, large amounts, uh, that is always something that uh, we need to watch out for. The fact that a big part of the semiconductor industry, that almost two thirds of the semiconductor market in our view, is exposed to this one trend. I think that there are risks that are associated uh, with it, but I think as long as their customers find ways to monetize AI, uh, the company's in very good shape. Yeah, and you've just raised your price target on it up to uh, the $900 range or thereabouts. You can correct me, put the, put the precise number on it. I, I, Heretofore, up to this point, um, NVIDIA has really owned this area, this space for these high-end uh, uh, processing units. I wonder if there are any, any competitive risks that you see on the horizon for them. Right. No, that, that's a good question. One um, thing I would suggest is if you look at uh, the, just the nature of technology, right, look at areas outside of AI chip, right, look at search look at operating systems, look at social, look at e-commerce. What is common to each of those technology markets is that the early mover, the one with the scale, tends to control 70, 75% of the market unless they mess up. So as long as they are executing extremely well for the leader in the market to continue to have that 70, 75, 80% market share is actually not that uncommon. And that's why our assumption is that um, you know, in this accelerator market that was about 45 billion addressable last year, right, is probably going to grow another 60, 70 uh, percent this year and gets to somewhere close to 170 billion over the next uh, few years. That NVIDIA dominates with a 70, 75 percent share. You know, we think custom yeah. chips uh, that are made uh, for Google or Microsoft and others, that's another 10 or 15 percent. And then the remaining 10 or 15 percent is shared across the likes of AMD, you know, Intel, you know, the many startups who have interesting propositions. So you will see competition, but I think it's pretty hard to dislodge uh, NVIDIA from that 70, 75% leadership yeah, that's, position. That's just amazing. That's just amazing. the nature of technology.